sometimes. No, we can't. We got. Can we? We got to do the bunker stuff. The bunker stuff is so crazy. I'm interested. So crazy. Underground bunkers and panic rooms aren't just for extreme preppers anymore. This is some Several LA shit. Who specialize in building these upscale doomsday retreats. Say business is booming. Isn't Mr. We Zuck making one of these? Home with all the security bells Probably. And yeah, of course. He has cameras everywhere, a biometric bedroom door, bulletproof walls, use Bill Gates? and even a gassing system. Yet, I don't think I'm paranoid at all. Al Corby lives at in all. one of the most fortified homes in Southern California. Just try to get inside That's his nice compound. Oddie. As soon as they step foot, a flash goes off right in their face. Al says his house, located high above the Sunset Strip, is outfitted and ready to host anyone from celebrity to... That's actually pretty or tight. Inside the front door. He got you some of his decor right, from at home. You see a circle. That is a gassing system. He showed how the blinding fog works on the Rachel Ray show. Oh my god. In 5 seconds it can have the entire floor so dense that if you put your palm on your nose, you couldn't see your palm. And the circle to the left, that's a special camera. They can see through the fog and you can see them wiggling their way back out again so you know you're safe. But Al, a security system designer, says the precautions don't end there. Come on into the safest place in L.A. It's his <laughs> three-bedroom, three-bath master suite, also known as the home's safe core. I mean, Here like, it was the up there on, a, the like, a the fortress, suite, weighs you know? 650 pounds <laughs> and has 12 what? bolts that drop out all the way around the door. This is my daughter's room, and she shares the security out? of the whole <laughs> There's a balcony <laughs> with a fire escape. Should an intruder come up? Security it's crazy how like down. it just turns into a solid wall of steel. Off the luxurious master bath, Al showed us the master bedroom. The walls are all ballistic, so you can't shoot through them. The floor has a ballistic material <laughs> in it, so a bad guy can't shoot up. Bad guy. Corby says Acting he like doesn't he got believe five rooms work. <laughs> nonetheless, yeah. he has. That's one. really if cool. If the unimaginable happens. Since we're already safe in the core, we can come into this room here. It's a powder room outfitted with a security monitor, phone system, and... An additional layer of protection. Please leave. You really don't want to be here. But what if Al wants to get <laughs> Why out? Why don't they? A <laughs> that's ready to land a rented chopper. But Al says, don't be impressed. The ultra-rich people have their own helicopters. Al is now working on his most ambitious project to date, a $100 million doomsday bunker at an undisclosed location. While no one else has water, he does. While no one else has power, he does. For three generations. And just three who is this uber-cautious client? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Who the fuck is it, Batman? <laughs> Literally, the fuck. Yeah, it's probably some like fucking Middle Eastern prince. I can see that. You yeah. know, or it's, if it's not that, then it's like a, it's a Rockefeller or fucking. Uh, Think about it. Vanderbilt type family member. The bro is out here making doomsday bunkers. Yeah, that's kind of the coolest way to spend your money. Oh, it's so cool. God, it's, it's so fucking cool. Like you're just decking out survival and you're meeting i mean that's the thing he and even in this video it seems like he's got a closed mouth about what he's doing you mm -hmm. know i mean he's only showing his home did you notice that oh. yeah he's only showing his home and so there's that was probably features that we don't even know about oh there's yeah so th many. there's houses that he can't even talk about and so probably didn't even go that much in depth about all the about features of his security house? He probably didn't even show the real pout or the real uh, panic room that he even in this video, he was like, panic rooms do not work, but I have one for fun, you mm. know? And so do you know what a panic room is? Do is you guys like a room that you can lock yourself in and someone intrudes? Yeah, yeah, of course. So. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed. He probably has a button or big red button you can press from someone. <laughs> that you're going to slam the table. <laughs> And, mm -hmm. you know, it opens a trap door right underneath the doormat and you just fall in there. Right. Just garbage shoot type shit. Literally, yeah. I could see it. Dude, I, this is, I hope this is me in, the future. in the future. <laughs> Dude, I want so, I want this so bad. Underground bunker. I just have to say it'd be sucked to be his kid though, because I remember I sneaked out Ooh. of the house when I was a kid, you know? I did that all the time, and so I couldn't sneak out of this guy's house, you know? <laughs> if he was my dad, huh? You're in penitentiary. Yeah, my <laughs> this guy's my dad. He's fucking 
house locked down 24 7 where did you go <laughs> like, that's true jesus christ bro <laughs> yeah probably gave you a gps dental implant you know oh yeah by birth too you are entering one of the most secret this places looks like on the Earth. tunnels that you see it's a dude. bunker built into a hollowed out mountain in colorado it's just one of the top secret shelters where 7,000 Americans will go to in the event of nuclear annihilation. The government built more than 100 of these bunkers. Only 7K? Facilities around the country. There's no room for families. Wives, children, not included. The plans to get a small number of government officials out of government? Washington, out Pause of this. cities. And you know what that the, means? Uh, like, basically, United States sleeper agents. Oh, yeah. Because these are individuals. He just said with no families. So they probably have no connections with the outside world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're just all already picked. Yeah. Isn't I, that crazy to think? It's, um, gosh, there's that, that theory that the perfect, the perfect CIA or FBI agent doesn't have a family and he's adopted. Yeah. Have you ever heard that before? Oh, no, I haven't. That's yeah, crazy. that's a, yeah. That's the perfect undercover agent or something. Perfect undercover agent because if if you go missing or you die in action, nobody's missing you. That's fucked. And so that's what the government likes. So what, so <laughs> what he's saying is that this bunker is specifically only for people that have no interest in family. Yeah. I mean, I guess I would think that these seven thousand people are going to be government officials that are leaving their family behind. Because this just reminds me of some Fallout shit, and they're like starting does. a vault. Mm -hmm. They're about to see how long the vault lasts mm -hmm. with whatever social experiment they they do. Yeah, dude. And they but, they said there was a hundred of these facilities back in the day, and if they were doing a hundred of them, seven thousand that's seventy thousand people. I mean, I don't know. It's a decent. That's a fucking chunk. Why would they choose like the worst genes to put in? You know, like this guy. You really want this guy? I want Olympians going in there to make the future human beings. <laughs> we don't know what fight. these agents look like. Yeah. Uh, he's, right. dude, he couldn't even get to the doormat of these places. <laughs> I, I bet he just he just knows that documents exist. I yeah. bet he couldn't even get to the doormat. Damn. He's just telling you about shit he knows. Yeah. <laughs> dude. I've never been there, but. <laughs> he goes to the gate and they're going to be like, sir, you don't have a permit to come here. Who, you know. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. Gotta do so, some Gattaca stuff. Uh, hmm. It's a place that can house 7,000. It'll go in the description, yeah. ...around the country, and it doesn't include families. Gary Graff is the author of the new book, Raven Rock, the U.S. government's secret plan to save itself while the rest of us die. The title That's enlightening. Comes from this place, yes. Raven Rock Mountain, a super secret bunker in Pennsylvania where Pentagon super brass secret. will relocate in a nuclear <coughs> war. How do you get on this list? And who's on it? Well, so the list includes your high-ranking government officials, your cabinet leaders, your congressional leadership, members of the Supreme Court, uh, as well this as, all cap. you know, top eight. Well, I don't trust anything uh, this guy's you know, saying. White this House is staff. Yeah. Just from the book he's holding. The bunker at Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. I bet the people who take over it are not the people who are currently in office. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Joe Biden can't make kids. So what's the point? <laughs> oh my god true it's the yeah. point of him trying to thrive Subway in a bunker sandwich. when he can't have Subway? an offspring did they really uh they really shut it up Subway? some people are on the elite list by accident the bunker at cheyenne mountain in colorado has its own subway sandwich shop if you just happen on uh, the time of the apocalypse to be the person manning the cash register at the subway uh, you're going to be the only fast food employee in America who survives the nuclear war. Another bunker is buried in Virginia at a place what called a Mount fucking Weather. <laughs> also, if you think about that, <laughs> the people with skill sets are going to be disenfranchised because they're going to have to resort to doing manual labor jobs if they're all these like bunch of nerds that don't know anything or have never worked a fast food job in their life. That'd be hilarious to watch. Do you know what I mean? Well, like if they're setting, they're basically setting themselves up for failure if they're not picking out all the different roles. Oh yeah. That a normal society would function. I bet in. they do actually. I bet this is all cap. I gotta be like, honest. Is there construction workers in the mix? Right. Are there like engineers? Nurses. Yeah. 
I feel that. Yeah. Surgeons, all that type of shit. Right. Let's just, let's just go. Is there a basic 50 <laughs> 50? Yeah. <laughs> let's honestly. Go, let's just start there. You yeah, know? for sure. That's Imagine if they get all guys, though. They oh, would do if it's 80% like guys, 90% of them are dying. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's going to be 10 guys left. Uh, yeah. This yeah. Gotta I hope be they fight each other. What? I hope they fight each other and eliminate themselves. <laughs> like Squid Games. Literally. Yeah. This yeah. just sounds like not a good demographic to be in. Weather facility about 60 miles west of Washington, D.C. And it looks like a typical secure government facility. Would it you want your name to be in this, even if it was by random? Barbed wire at the top. And they don't like visitors. Okay, okay. NYPD, is that decades. what I saw? I don't know. I saw oh I saw a W actually excuse me what were it you it was like Charlottesville or yeah Charlotte, Colorado oh the one that they were filming at was in Colorado yeah you're right they were just talking about something in Pennsylvania yeah I don't I don't think I would want my name to be on the list though I would just want to die like all the normal people in the apocalypse oh yeah oh I yeah I think I'd rather have my own bunker for sure than be like stuck bunk? with the U S government so my next video is what would the ideal be I see. what would the ideal be right i mean this does not seem like the ideal i would not want to be att- attached to any government while i'm in the nuclear apocalypse screw a subway bro you'll get tired of having that meal every day <laughs> underground <laughs> absolutely that sounds terrible. and so like what is the goal let's say we are a successful podcast and we do make millions of dollars this is what we should invest in <laughs> This is where the funds go. This is where the funds go. You're in the middle of nowhere, rural Kansas, <laughs> the site of an abandoned nuclear missile silo. And you even told me you want to live next to a cornfield. You want to live that in the... That would be nice. Yeah, of course. Perfect. Really dream. Perfect. This is the dream. Security patrol the entrance to a doomsday bunker that's reserved for the wealthy elite, and sales are booming. Since the uh, election of Donald Trump, we've seen a whole new demographic of people calling in, people that didn't know we existed before. Larry Hall is the owner of the Survival Condo Project. These 16,000 pound doors lock you inside. Buried We're headed lead. deep below the surface of the earth into an underground bunker like Such no other. Such a cool VR elevator. That is. Typical residential unit. And That's even nice. though we are like more RV. than 100 feet underground right now, you can see that it's certainly not a claustrophobic area. Twelve luxurious condos exist here with fireplaces, high-end appliances, jacuzzis, even windows. Yes, windows. High-definition TVs broadcast a live feed of the outside That's world really cool. right into your living room. The price tag for this three-bedroom, two-bedroom I think condo- as a fucking... What is it? As like a security? Being able to see out. Yeah. Yeah. Could you, like, I, what I always imagine is that, like, if you have a bunker, God, you got to worry about that front door. God, you got to worry about that front and door. And people not blocking you in either. Oh, yeah. Imagine oh, they just start yeah. piling a bunch of shit up on the door and you're just stuck down there. Right. Really yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. That's, a, that's what I could imagine in the apocalypse. Mm hmm. Yeah. You got to have, like, you almost have to have two or three layers of doors, and then you have to have another entrance, too. That also has two or three layers of doors. <laughs> My gosh. Fair. And they said 12, 12, pla- or 12, um, 12 units in this one place. Did you hear that? Damn. That's windows. High-definition TVs broadcast a live feed of the outside world right into your living room. The price tag for this three-bedroom, two-bath condo? million. Well, as the sign says, welcome to the beach. And look at this. It's a swimming pool with a slide and waterfall. That's actually really cool. Other common areas include a movie theater, rock climbing wall, and shooting range. There's even a farm that grows all the fresh fruits and vegetables you'll need. This can grow up to 70 different uh, species of plants, lettuces, uh, tomatoes, Hydroponics. The bunker runs on power sources like wind and diesel generators. We have enough fuel to run these diesels for two and a half years. Plenty of time to ride out worldwide chaos should it ever erupt. That's not plenty of time, by the way. Yeah, two two years, years, that's nothing. That's short term yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like, that's like if that's next we go week. to war. How are they making a profit? And so my, I think what they're making a profit on is the ghost ticket. Do you know what I mean by the that? Reserving a spot. The ghost tickets, yeah. 
And homie, how the fuck are you going to fill in that ticket when there's world chaos and you're paying 2.3 billion or 2.3 million dollars for a condo that's in the ground in the middle of Kansas? Go to middle of Kansas now. Like that's yeah. I don't know. I now just, you got to go to the middle of Kansas after the apocalypse erupts, <laughs> right? You know who that, knows where you're gonna be. That's an empty. That's an empty seat. I think. I my think. Thing, my thing is, it looks like in the last two years, like just for me, like working in the leather industry. Okay. I kind of recognize like a lot of that stuff it was gonna last forever. The jacuzzi, just like dude. wear and tear. Dude, the appliances. The appliances. Yeah, the fridge. The fucking... fridge door. How long? How many pools is it gonna take? It's, it's not, not gonna, gonna be last. ten years. Yeah, those things sure. don't last 10 years. Yeah. Most of those fucking, yeah, those TVs don't last for 10, maybe they do, but come on. I think all nah. that's, it's, yeah, they're not building shit to last. I, I think this is the only video of them wanting to show. Luxury, for sure. Yeah, but we're not, dude, I've seen some videos of. I just like the bare bones survival shit. Like, who the fuck needs a TV if you have a bunch of books? There's also yeah. not going to be any cable. Right. Like, what are apocalypse. you watching? You probably go right. through every single besides form of entertainment. Live, besides the live feed of the outside world, I really don't see the need for a TV. You're just you're True. using electricity that could have been light. You know, I think I think the rational decision is all right. We're cutting all TVs. We're cutting everything unless the essentials, right? Yeah. Right. So we can juice these two hour or these two year generators to ten years, you know? Because I would assume a light's not that crazy. I agree. A light can't be too crazy. Yeah. You you would really be like stingy for lights too. You'd have some cheap LEDs. Cheap, 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 cheap LEDs. Not too dark, but like something bare minimum. Bare minimum. Yeah, and I feel like your eyes would adjust after a long time. For sure. Crazy stuff, right? Man, hopefully it never gets to that. I hope so too, but man, you can never say <laughs> never. hate to say it. Ten uh, seconds later, we just hear <laughs> Never know when <laughs> doomsday is happening. <coughs> no, you never know. 